How does a team like Cal, who comes off a gut-wrenching loss last week at home versus Miami in a game they led by 20 points in the fourth quarter, and they lost the game, how do they react this week going on the road against another nationally ranked undefeated team in Pittsburgh who's off to a surprising 5-0 and start? Uh, I have those answers and much more as it applies to that matchup, and I'll have it in just a second here. Uh, just have to fill in a couple blanks before we get to the analysis and pick on those games, on that game, excuse me. Um, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, folks, I don't know what you're waiting for. You'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world right here at Wager Talk TV. Simply hit that subscribe button below. It's 100% free. There's no strings attached. There's no hidden agenda. And after you do that, provide yourself a nice convenience by going into your YouTube settings and clicking on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV. And you'll be notified immediately upon any of our future content going up on our great channel. Also, if you can kindly hit that like button below for me. It's just a small token of appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put in to bring you a quality free pick video each and every day, each and every week. Uh, NFL free pick videos, by the way, over the last three weeks, 11 and 1. We went 2 and 2 with our college football free pick videos last week. So, um, again, since I started with Wager Talk TV since uh, the middle of last March, uh, we're at around a little over 58% uh, win rate uh, against the spread with our picks right here on Wager Talk TV. So just give me a like. I don't want to star on my forehead. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to win for you. And uh, again, those aren't even my best picks, my free picks, and they're at 58% over that course of time. Um, all right, let's get to the matter at hand. Cal and Pitt. Uh, Pitt right now is a three and a half point favorite. So uh, this is a pit team, like I alluded to. They're five and zero out of the gate, and not a lot of people expected that. And for them to be nationally ranked going into Week Seven of the college football season, but they are. And their offense has been a key component in doing so. Um, the Panthers are averaging forty five point six points per game and five hundred and twenty yards per game. Um, so uh, they uh, really have moved the ball and scored at a very high rate, explosive offense. And a Cal, they're going to go against a Cal defense uh, that up until last week was playing extremely well. However, last week they were exposed in that um, loss to Miami, 39-38, uh, because uh, they allowed not only 39 points, but over 500 yards of total offense. And uh, again, I, Pitt being the offensive juggernaut they are right now, that spells a little bit of trouble for me for the Cal Bears on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, speaking of that loss, it's, you know, you always wonder how a team is going to respond. That's a Cal team that thoroughly outplayed Miami for three quarters, was in total control of the game, and had a 38 to 18 lead with less than. 11 minutes to play in a game and managed somehow to lose the game 39-38. So you got to wonder about their emotional state. And like I alluded to before, they go from blowing a game like that against a top 10 team in Miami um, at home. And now they have to travel across three time zones a week later and take on another undefeated team in Pitt that's nationally ranked not as high as Miami by any stretch of imagination, but still nationally ranked and undefeated. And how are they going to respond in that scenario? And, uh, you know, a pit is, is not going to take Cal lightly uh, when they look at the film and they see that uh, Cal just dominated really Miami in the first three quarters of that contest before falling apart. Now Cal started the year three and oh, they've lost their last two uh, losing Two weeks ago to Florida State, 14-9, and uh, a loss to Florida State by five on the road wouldn't have been uh, a bad thought uh, at the beginning of the season or before the season began, but we all know that Florida State's not anywhere near as good as what they were last year. Um, but in those that 3-0 start, they were a plus-eight turnover differential 
But over their last two, both losses, they're even in that category. While Pittsburgh um, is their last three games, they're a plus four turnover differential. And this is a Pitt team that has quality wins this year against Big 12 opponents, West Virginia and Cincinnati. They're not the top of the Big 12, but still uh, middle of the road Big 12 programs uh, that are still quality teams and uh, in all likelihood will be playing during the bowl season. All right, so again, I mentioned Cal off that 39-38 loss to Miami. Uh, Pitt's coming off a 34-24 win last week at North Carolina. And I have a nice college football betting angle that applies and uh, is pertinent to those results. Anytime you have a college football home favorite of between 3.5 to 14 points, like Pittsburgh is, and they're coming off a road win by 10 or more, and they scored 21 or more in that win. As a matter of fact, not only did they win the week before, but they won in the last two games. So uh, off back-to-back wins, and they're facing an opponent coming off a loss by three points or fewer, uh, like what happened with Cal. Those teams, those home favorites of between three and a half to 14 in those exact scenario. Uh, well, uh, they have gone 11 and 0 straight up in ATS since 2021, and they won those 11 games by 24.6 points per game. I'm going to lay the three and a half at home with Pitt. I'm banking on the fact that Cal making that long jaunt across the country and uh, and coming off that tough loss in Pitt uh, with a lot of momentum at five and 0, and certainly not going to take Cal lightly. I like the Panthers minus three and a half over California in this spot. Some other friendly reminders. Great specials going on right now at Wager Talk. And folks, you need to take advantage of this. First of all, I'm recording right now on Thursday, or October the 10th. And uh, today is uh, Fill Your Cart Thursday, which simply means anything you purchase, uh, whether it be a daily package, all access packages of three-day, uh, seven day, 30 day, or 90 day, uh, you get 10% you're off your purchases today on just not one, whatever, how many purchases you make, you'll get 10% off each transaction. So take advantage of that offer. Also, folks, great special. Normally, uh, $299 for a 30 day package, all access package from any one of us at uh, Wager Talk. It's still $299, but for another $99, making the price $398, Wager Talk is going to throw in another 30 days. So that's a, what, $199 savings, if my math is correct. Uh, but instead of uh, $598, the price of this package is now $398, $200. And my math wasn't correct. Anyway, uh, $398 will get you the next 60 days. That amounts to a less a little over, I should say, $6 per day. So take advantage of that offer, folks. And don't forget, my 90-day all-access pass, $849. Um, college football, number one uh, at Wager Talk since the start of last year, number one since December of 2022. NFL, the last two Sundays, uh, we've gone 5-1-1 one, and one, the last two Sundays in the NFL. So things heating up. And those of you who followed me last year, you well know that I did extremely well in the NBA and college basketball. So you're going to get everything for the next 90 days. It's $849, and it include all my NFL, college football, NBA, and college basketball. And once in a while, I'll sprinkle in an NHL pick like I have tonight in the Kings and Sabres game. Uh, also, folks, just to bring you up to speed, uh, all sports right now, I'm on a 17-5 and five run since September 29th. Good for a net profit of $3,856. I mentioned my college football. How about 104-69 and 69 with my college football premium picks since December uh, 3rd of 2022? That's a 60% win rate and a net profit during that time of $9,082. My 5% Best bets, which are the highest rated best bets, uh, 27 and 13 since February 3rd of this year. I will have a 5% best bet in the NFL on Sunday. And then Saturday, right now I have up 
a 4% college football best bet in the Vandy and Kentucky game. And folks, I have won 10 consecutive college football 4% best bets. You need to jump all over this game. Uh, Vanderbilt, Kentucky, only $25. And you can get that in all my uh, packages, all inclusive packages, all access packages, whatever you, way you want to phrase them, simply by going to my direct link. That's wt.buzz slash rb, wt.buzz slash rb. You'll see that link right below. I'll be back with another college football free pick video. And uh, at that time, I will be discussing the game between Ole Miss and LSU. So stay tuned for that. Take care and God bless, folks.